Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is about sea changes. We're all going through a sea change. And what is that? On one level, you can just simply say that it is a very profound and deep transformation. I also like to think of the nature of the sea when you're talking about sea changes. There are sea creatures that actually can, you know, change sexes or completely alter their appearance. And that may be what is going on for a lot of people right now. We're all going through some amazing internal and external evolution that is, for some people, making it feel like their reality is turned inside out. I'm going to quickly mix my metaphors here because if there are some butterflies that, you know butterflies, they are caterpillars and they go into a cocoon, they wrap a cocoon around them and then, you know, sometime later they break their way out of the cocoon and they're a beautiful butterfly. Well, what you don't realize is that the caterpillar completely changes its appearance there is actually a process that it liquidizes inside that cocoon before it reforms all the aspects that make it turn into a butterfly. So when you look at a butterfly and you look at a caterpillar, there's no comparison. How could that insect be that wiggly wormy thing, you know, doesn't make any sense. And we're going through that kind of transformation within ourselves. Now, on a level of life coaching, we call this breaking down and breaking through. And if you're just like operating at that kind of level of standard, you know, helping people transform their lives kind of thing, you can say, well, it's when you're conceptions and perceptions are breaking down and suddenly you're having this profound mental shift on new possibilities. And from your mental level, your visualizing level, that is what is happening on the level of thought. That is what is happening. Thoughts are shifting. People's perceptions are shifting. I also see it is happening on an energetic level. The sun comes out to illustrate this. The sun is coming out, breaking through the cloud cover. What's happening is that we're actually going through an energetic shift as well. My experience as a psychic reader 25, 35 years ago, was to read people's chakras and their auras. And the thing I have detected is that chakras are reformatting. They're, it, our energy systems are reformatting because this greater, higher vibration of the essence of who we are, consciousness, is coming into form. And you can't put that same information into old containers. You can't put, you can't run that kind of data through a 30 year old computer, it just isn't gonna work. And that doesn't mean we're all gonna die. We translate this as, um, from a body perspective. Bodies think, keep complete and utter change. That must mean I'm dying. So we'll be feeling these feelings, ultimatums and that we, we're going to die because we can't imagine what's beyond it. No, what's actually happening is we're going through this incredible internal upgrade and remodel or shift. And our energy systems are shifting and changing as well to accommodate this new vibration coming into form <laughs> as the sun plays along with us. If you think of the essence of consciousness, it is it is the creation of everything. Is it it is the creative energy of everything. And our shift in awareness is going from being a component of that, 
going from being that I'm just a character in this story, or I am a particle of the sun, to that I am the sun. And is the greater aspect of myself coming into form. And our vehicles are adjusting to be able to access more of the cosmic internet. And so our sea change really is going from being a creature of the sea to being the ocean. And the experience of the ocean in whatever perspective of whether you're going to be a sea anemone or a dolphin in this time, it is the creative life force essence that is who you are coming into form. So how I've been experiencing this uh, is to my very left brain Taurus self is very irritating because it's just like being so flaky. I'm very time and space oriented and you know I like to show up on time and I like to have a purpose and I have my to-do list and all of that is breaking down. So much like I have been telling people, your reality is breaking down and everything you think is solid and real is what's disintegrating. So if you're really attached to your career and you think that's part of your identity, that's going to be called into question. Either you get laid off or you get shifted or you get you know, put into a different department that is calling upon different skills. Um, you know, you're hired to train your replacement. All these things that are going to be kind of damaging to your ego or, or really requiring you to have a shift of your identity there. Um, if you prioritize other things, then those things are going to come into... I'm sitting here talking to myself because I'm thinking, um, you know, my relationships are really important. We have an eclipse tomorrow. You know, what's that going to mean? And... Uh, so, but the other thing that's very real to me is my energy and my structure for delivering my energy into the world. And I've been having a real shift in the way that I do things. Uh, I'm becoming less time conscious, and I'm usually anally time conscious. I'm 20 minutes early for everything kind of thing. And time and space is becoming more malleable it is it's a component of reality but reality is malleable so I've been really challenged on my time I've been challenged on I'm really precise about details and details are kind of vaguing out it's like oh shit do I have Alzheimer's and I think that it's just like your computer uh, it tends to be a little less effective when it is you know downloading or processing a new operating system i think that's what's going on i hope that's what's going on <laughs> who knows how it's going to manifest into form oh but i am consciousness so i should absolutely know what's manifesting in a form you do as consciousness and the great thing that i have found as i am more in acceptance to operating as the greater aspect of myself is that I realize that I am consciousness creating all of this. I'm creating all of the scenario. I'm creating all the possibilities. I'm creating all the storylines. And I can choose to step into one or the other. And that if I find myself in one or the other, I have chosen to step into it. And it's not choice in the old, you know, egoic coaching kind of like you're at choice. It's like, yes, you're always that choice. And as consciousness, you're the one doing the choosing. So it's a matter of relaxing into the greater aspect of who you are, and then everything flows much more easily. So if you are in a period of time right now where things are just feeling disconnected or out of sorts, or you are feeling like you don't fit inside your skin any longer, or this career that you absolutely have loved is just not doing it for you anymore, or, you know, the relationship of your life is like, eh. what I would suggest is not doing anything. 
to try to change, fix, or manipulate what's going on in your story right now, what's going on in your hologram. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to make a geographical. Geographical is when you just, you know, I'm moving to Ecuador, <laughs> teaching English. That may be your calling, that might be your purpose, but don't do anything radical right now. Allow the tide to come in, allow the tide to go out, allow the sea change to occur because it's something bigger happening than your personality. Something bigger is coming in that is beyond your mind to comprehend. live in the Pacific Northwest, in the Seattle area where there is no sunshine between September and August, except on this day at the end of January when you're trying to record a video. Wait, what is that? Sun! As I blank out. The people in, in the United States that buy the most sunglasses are actually from Seattle, and it's because we so rarely have sun, we don't know where our sunglasses are when it does come out, so we have to buy new sunglasses. If you live in Arizona, you're using your sunglasses all the time. They're right there in the visor of your car or in your purse, but we are like, ooh, what, sun? Where's sun? We need glasses. <laughs> Any other profound things to tell you about this sea change that is going on? Don't fight it and don't resist it because it really is your greater self that is coming into form. It is the essence of who you are emerging. It's something to be celebrated and welcome. If people around you seem to be losing their shit, it's because they are identifying <laughs> with that aspect. The, the, the concrete aspect of personality or surroundings that they're very attached to, and that can be pretty painful. You can be compassionate for them. But ultimately, it's evolving for the better. So I'm really excited about it. Stay tuned for more. And if you like these videos, you can subscribe to them on YouTube. You can also sign up below to get them in your inbox. If you want to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. I write a weekly newsletter and blog. I put out a weekly podcast and radio show. I do these videos about once a week. I do meetups around the Puget Sound in Seattle and Tacoma and places in between. I do a monthly webinar. And if you want to know more about how to navigate this new reality with ease and grace, how to be more in touch with the essence of who you are, which kind of wakes you up to your purpose of being here, go to my website, joan-nukem.com, and look at my coaching programs. So go to joan-nukem.com, and I'll see you in another couple days with another Mystic Minute.